Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to a very special video where we're going to be taking to the streets of GTA 5 in Minecraft to plan and complete the largest heist that has ever been committed in this city. So right now we are playing as our good friend Michael and what are we going to do is soak up some of these surroundings and also make our way to our safe house to go over the plans of the big heist which we are going to need a lot of work for it to work. But if all goes as planned everything should come together nicely and we'll make a way with this city prized riches sound good yeah I thought so so let's get to it and we're gonna use this nice little motocross bike here to get to our safe house where all the plans are so let's go Michael let's do this we just need to kind of go down here there's all the locals around some of them playing with swords for some reason but our safe house is actually um, I think it's down here yeah we've got to go down here and then to the right when we get to the bottom of this and why is everyone crowding around here get oh my god that was close Jeez, you need to get out of my way, son. I, you seriously need to get out of my way, because I will run you over. I'll run you flat. I need This is serious business. I need to get straight to the safe house. So let's just take a second to have a look at this amazing environment. Look at this city. It's absolutely huge. It looks beautiful, and there's just so much stuff here. We've got everything we need right here in this big city. We're going to make a U-turn as well. Look at that. A perfect handbrake turn on a bike somehow. We're going to turn left up here, go past the port, and then we need to make a swift right, and the safe house is right there, as you can see. So look at this. It's so beautiful. It looks amazing. It's really, really nice. Right, let's turn right, and um, hopefully there's no one in the road. Okay, there's a couple of people. You're going to get yourself killed, man. Jesus, you're going to get yourself absolutely killed. So if we turn our left here, our safe house will just be on the right. Let's park it up and head into our safe house where I will go over the plans. Here we go. This is my humble abode for the for the episode. Here we go. It's not. It's just a temporary place, but it looks pretty sweet. And let's go over some plans. Right, so the plans are all over here, and the plan will start with the bank itself. It's a huge building from bottom to top, and I think it's the best way in is going to have to be via the roof. The roof has the easiest entry point with the least guards, and the rest of the doors are solid iron with security at every corner. What we will need to do is get in contact with Trevor to try and sort that out, mainly because he's the only one crazy enough to do it. Other than that, we're just going to need some more gunpowder, which is where Franklin can also help us out, and I think we'll stick with the bikes for a versatile yet speedy escape route. Sound good? Yeah, I think it's a solid plan. Let's just quickly go over it. We've got transport, aerial transport, firepower, the team in here. We've got maps as well, maps of the entire city for an escape route. And I think it's a fairly solid plan. But now we need to get hold of Trevor. And I have no idea where he's going to be. <laughs> of course. Um, Trevor's having a little bit of trouble here. He's got, um, oh god, he's crashed his, everyone's, everyone's looking. No one saw anything, okay? You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. So I need to get out of here. I need to find some kind of aerial assault thing. I need to find either a plane or a helicopter. And I think Michael kind of like briefed me earlier, but I think there is a plane somewhere around here. But I don't know if I'm going to survive this drop. I need to kind of ninja down here. There we go. Out, out, and then down here. And we just get on this bike and then get going because we need to find this plane somewhere. He kind of put it... I don't really know where he put it. He kind of put it on the road, apparently, underneath kind of like the airport place around here. There's a lot of people around here. Why are there so many people here? I need to find the airport. I need to find the airport. It makes sense, but he put it in the road. Why, why would you put it in the road, Michael? I mean, come on. But we should be able to find it. You, what? This guy? What are you doing? You're just sleeping in the middle of the road. What is wrong with you? I bet you're awake now, huh? Yeah, you're you're awake now. Let's get on this thing. I just shot my bike by accident, but let's go. It's turning tonight, and we need to find this plane. Okay, I think it's right down here. I'm not sure. Actually, yep, this looks familiar. We're going past the um, abandoned helipad, and it should appear right in front of us, or at least the building that we're looking for, and I think we need to turn right down here and go down the left side of this huge airport to find our plane. Is this the, I think we need to go down here. So let's go in front of the airport and we should be able to find it. It's a massive place. Wow. It's actually it's actually huge. And don't make me use my gun to force me to get it because if anyone sees me, I'm going to be in trouble. It looks like they're all sleeping outside. Why are you all so strange? What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you? Is the plane even here? Is there a plane here, anyone? We're near the airport. Oh, wait. I see one in the distance. I do see one, yes. I don't know why I got off my bike, but we're going to have to do this. Um, it's pretty weird that you're all sleeping, to be honest. I might just have to sort that out. Let's try this rocket launcher out, just to test, just in case we need to use it to steal this thing. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> um, oh god, I need to get out of here. That was that was terrible. It did wake him up, but it kind of killed him also, <laughs> which is bad. Um, here we go. Look at this. This beautiful aircraft. Let's go straight into this and see if we can... Okay, we've got a problem here. There's people sleeping in the runway, so... Yep, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go. No. No. How can I run out of bullets already? I need this. I need this. Okay, it's gonna have to be this. Yep, there we go. You didn't die, and I kind of put bricks in my way, but it kind of worked. So let's get in this bad boy and see if we can... Oh my god, this looks, this looks incredible already. Here we go. Here we go. Is this gonna work? I kind of don't want to take off under here, do I? So I'm going to take the run up, and here we go. Oh my god, it's working. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh god. Oh god, this is not working. Oh. oh god. I'm upside down. Guys, help me. Help me. How is this working? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're heading, we're, heading for, we're heading for death right now. We're going to die. We're going to die. It's going to explode. Okay, that kind of wasn't that great and did not work out whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I've actually been given coordinates to a helicopter, but I need to make it to the top of the building to get to it. I'm going to try and find my bike and then drive over to it. And we should be able to have a helicopter ready to go and be able to rise in it and go to where we need to go, which is on top of the bank. And then Michael and Franklin will then meet us there. So I'll get on top of the bank. Hopefully have some explosive to help me um, get into the roof because that's what we're going to need. And then we can sort those out. So as you can see, heli location right over there. Let's get on our damn bike and ride over to it. Take a pleasant ride and also appreciate this amazing city in all of its glory. It looks awesome. And just check it out. And sleeping in the middle of the road, really, seems a bit weird to me. Seems a bit weird. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. This building here. Is this the building? Yes, it is. We need to go into this building and sort it out. And I don't have any ammo, which is really annoying. So I'm just going to have to play it safe and kind of sneak past all these sleeping people. That guy has a sword, though. The guards are not asleep. And I think it's through here. Why are you so mad, sir? Why are you so mad? <laughs> Apparently, there's a fire exit around here. So I can climb up the side of the building and get to it. Yep, this is where it is. And oh, no, I'm going to have to do the inevitable. Sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, I think he survived. It's OK. Let's just get up here. Come on. There we go. And helicopter. There it is. Look at that. Our beautiful helicopter. And Trevor has an amazing flying skill. So we should be able to fly this perfectly and head over to the Bank Heights location, which should also have a waypoint. And it should have just appeared on the map there. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's somewhere. Oh, okay, it's down there. It's not even too far. I think we've got to get onto that building just there. But we need to have some fun in this helicopter first. So let's get in here and let's have some fun. Here we go. We should We should be able to do this now. Apparently we've got a chain gun too. Can we, we... I can't remember how to... How do we... Oh god. Trevor, I thought you had some expertise here. Apparently not. Right. Here we go. Ah, this should be better. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. No, not into the pool. That was a bit scary. Oh god. Right. Let's just hover for a little bit and check out these surroundings. Go into third person. And this is going to be kind of hard to control in third person, unfortunately. But we're going to try it anyway. Um, we need to get over to that big building. Nope, this is impossible. First person it is. <laughs> we need to get onto that green building up there, but I'm not sure how we're going to do this without destroying ourselves. Right, let's take away all the way around and see what happens. Or, or you know, we could parachute. We could actually do that. I'm going to try it. Um, it could go very badly wrong, though. We need to get a lot higher than this. And, oh god, I need to put this on as well. Let me put this on quickly. There we go. Our parachute is equipped. We should be good to try this in a second. Right, I'm going to try it any second now. I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to go right. All right, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Pull the ripcord and yes. Yes, I think it worked. Oh my God, this is beautiful. We need to get onto the top of this bank and then call Franklin and see what he's got to say. Hopefully he'll be able to help us on this. It's going to take me a while to float down, isn't it? Oh no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my God. <laughs> good job I had a reserve shoot. Oh my God, one of them broke. Here we go. We should be able to make a safe landing on top of the building here. This is the bank. Yeah, there we go. Trevor has survived. So all we need to do now is make our way in here. But we need a delivery of explosives first. So we got to call Franklin. I have no idea where he is. So let's find out. Right then, Franklin. How's it going, my good man? It looks like you were checking out the statue of... 
I, I don't even know what that was. But anyway, let's go. We need to go and find some explosive. Michael has marked them on the map for us so we can get those, go straight to the helipad, and we will be good to continue this mission. Michael will be up next to kind of get there, ransack the inside, and then um, Trevor should be able to blow the roof off this dump. So let's get going on our beautiful green bike that Franklin, you know... He loves his green bike that he um, at the beginning of GTA 5. So we're going to use it, and this is a problem. This is already a problem. Where is Where are the stairs we need to go up? We need to get the stairs, everyone. I think I found them, though. Here we go. Let's try and do this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it works. Fine. So we need to go around here. I think they're hidden in an alleyway, so they're kind of discreet. No one will see us picking them up. It should be good. So let's go through to here. And nope. I don't know what that chest is. That's a bit of a random one. That didn't have the explosives in, but here are they. Oh, they're pretty close, actually. Just hop this fence quickly. We should be able to find them. There we go. We've got the detonator and some plastic explosives. So now we need to head to the heli location, which is now on the map, which is how far away are you, heli location? It's not too far. So we need to go just to get to the building, and then we'll switch to Michael. Actually, we'll switch to... um. Who should we switch to? Let's switch to Trevor, and then he should be able to sort out the thing when we get to Franklin to the top. Right, okay, so we have an issue, because Trevor has already left. He wasn't supposed to leave until I gave him the explosives. God damn it, Trevor. So what we're going to do is go back to the safe house, meet Michael there, and then we're going to make our way across and start this whole operation. So let's go. We're going to switch to Michael when we get to here, and wow! You guys, you guys, come on, you need to learn the rules of the road. And if this doesn't teach you, then nothing will, pretty much. What, who was the guy who just walked out in front of me? Who was it? Right then, I don't know where Franklin's got to, but he gave me the explosives, and he was off finding someone who ran out in front of the road in front of him, or something like that. But we're near the bank, we've got the tools that we need to do this. We've got enough rounds of AK-47 bullets, we've got a pickaxe to grab the loot in the end, and we've also got some plastic explosives to blow the doors off. And if all else fails, Trevor can come in through the top, and he'll meet us there and blow the door off this joint. So let's go in to this absolutely a blazing i need to kind of attach some things to the door just to make sure that we can get in and then um trevor will be waiting at the top ready to come in from the roof so let's do this and if you're wondering why there's a pumpkin on my head that's because we need a disguise there's no balaclavas in minecraft here we go let's put these explosives down see if we can put them there let's see if this works you get a safe distance away then explode them boom check that out oh my god it actually blew the doors off trevor trevor are you are you here <laughs> this is the last time you mess with me. All of you. All of you are dead to me. Burn. Burn all of you. Ow. 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 No. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. We're here. We're not ready to hurt anyone. We just want the goods. Why is everyone here? Oh, my God. We really did a number on that door, but we need to sort this out now. This is the safe that we need to explode. Come on. Come on. We need to do this right now. Let's run away before we get hurt. No swimming. No swimming. Boom. Boom, it's worked, it's worked. We need to grab the goods and get out of here. Come on, come on, I don't know where Trevor is. Trevor, come on. Trevor. Ow, 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 it feels good, but bad at the same time. Let's grab this, all the gold we need. All the gold we need. Yes, 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 yes. Look at all this, it's amazing. And just like that, the heist was complete. After all that, the goods actually ended up being mine. Franklin managed to finally pop that guy who ran out in front of him in the road. And Trevor? Well, I don't really know what happened to Trevor. Woohoo! But regardless, I hope that you enjoyed this special video. And if you did or want to see more like this, then please do hit that like button. And if you can hit that target, I will continue doing things like this on different games and some more GTA as well. So also, if this does so happen to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And me and all my beautiful gold will see you next time. Goodbye!